Taurus. Welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia. And Taurus, we're going to do a reading for you for the month of May 2021. And I was doing some meditating on your sign, feeling what you're feeling. And I actually came up with one word that really stuck out for you. And the word was rejoicing. And I'm just happy about that. Like it's an amazing word. And I think it might be because it's your birthday. So I'm first of all going to say happy birthday to all those who've had their birthday and to all those who have their birthday coming up in May. Happy birthday to you. And so I hope that this is a great time for you. And your theme for the month will be rejoicing. So there will probably be lots of good things that we can rejoice. So we're going to do a reading and see what's up for you for the month of May. And maybe we'll find out what all this rejoicing is. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show you the cards as I do this. Okay, so I have the Rider Waite <clears throat> and I've already shuffled them. So what we'll do is we will pull some cards and we'll do the Celtic Cross spread for you. Okay, so let's see where we're going here. <clears throat> okay, so your first card is actually the Magician and it's in reverse. The crossing card is the Eight of Pentacles. What is in your past is the Nine of Swords. What in your recent past, you've had the Four of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can get these all in there for you. Crowning you is the Page of Cups upright so that's wonderful okay and in the next near future is the ten of wands in reverse <clears throat> oh, sorry so i said wands i mean swords sorry ten of swords in reverse and then what we're going to do is in the in what you're facing right now in who you are is the eight of cups then we have the strength in reverse which is your surroundings and your environment. And in your hopes and fears is the Six of Pentacles. And, <clears throat> put that way for you. and in your outcome, it was actually reversed, is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so that's interesting you have lots of pentacles here you're probably being very practical this month um, <clears throat> what we're starting out with here is the magician in reverse now the magician in reverse you are quite capable of of handling everything and uh, and making things happen but i guess for some reason things aren't just going your way You've been working really hard. That's your obstacle or your crossing card is that shows that you've been working really hard on this. But the magician in reverse, you don't feel things are going well for you. And in your past, that could be partly why is you're worried about this an awful lot or maybe not worried, but you've just caught a lot of stress on your brain and you've been thinking about this endlessly, whatever you're trying to manifest. OK, so. I'm sorry about that. I'm wiggling my camera. Okay. <clears throat> you've been stressed out about this. But it's in reverse, so you've kind of got a good handle on it. Now, in your recent past is the Four of Swords in reverse. You've been wanting to take a rest. You're taking a rest here and strategizing, but you haven't been able to quite do it because you've really been trying, really working, really, really steady all the time <clears throat> now crowning you at the top your potential is amazing this is the pace page of cups the page of cups is someone who is carefree and innocent and playful and even charming and they enjoy even writing a story talking to the little fish in there see he's talking to the fish and he's probably telling the fish his story he also loves the water and so you probably you have lots of potential here in enjoying this month okay <clears throat> of may 
In the near future, you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So all these swords, all these, all this mind games that you've been playing and that other people have been playing with you is going to end. Okay, so that is a very good news. See, on the horizon there is a bright horizon. You have an extremely bright horizon. You just have to let these swords fall out, come on out, and then you will actually be able to get up and recover from all this headache that you've been having. <clears throat> okay, so in the position of what you're wanting to do is the Eight of Cups. This is Saturn in Pisces, and Saturn also in the month of May does go retrograde. So this month you will be really considering what you wanna leave behind and where you're going. You're on a journey, you're on a mission of some kind. You want to seek something deeper that's more important to you. And it's very important. So you're leaving a lot of things that have been important to you, but you're going on a new journey. It could be an inward journey. You could be doing inner research, or it could be a physical journey and maybe even some traveling, if that is permitted. <laughs> but anyways, you are going on a quest. And this up here is a, an eclipse. Also, we begin our eclipse season at the end of May. So, and that the first um, full moon lunar eclipse is on May the 26th. So, that day might be a very pivotal day for you. So, just maybe mark that on your calendar and see what decisions you make on that day. They might be very important for your whole life process. Okay. <clears throat> now, in your environment, you are faced with a lot of pressure and people are putting a lot of things on you thinking that you can do it all. They say, oh, she's good at it or he's great at that. And you are good at it, but you are starting to feel the pressure of all these expectations on you. And yes, you are strong, but it's been a little bit weary because people have been overdoing your goodness and your, your heart has been great but they're kind of pushing your button sometimes and you're just a little bit fed up with that. <laughs> okay, so in your hopes and dreams, this is the card of Six of Pentacles and here he's giving and receiving their, of his finances specifically. But this does not only have to pertain to finances, it can be, pertain to anything that is practical in your life which it very well may be finances. You're seeking to have a balance. And maybe if you have a lot of affluence around you at the current time, you might be looking to see what you can support and what you can give. That might be your heart's desire. How can you help other people? And that is so beautiful, just how you can help other people. But you know what? If you do that, it will always come back to you. This, this is your hope and your dream is to, to live life in balance. See, he's got this little balancing scales here and he's holding everything in balance. And that's what you're trying to do. You're probably trying to balance your home life, your work life, and all your endeavors that you wanna do. <clears throat> and all these things that you wanna make that you're trying to create, that you're having a difficult time doing, you want the balance back. And you're working, 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 and you need the rest and you just want some balance and you want to be paid for it at the same time. I get that. Okay, so in the outcome of this month is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So the outcome of May, this probably will be a time of harvesting. So here he's waiting. Okay, he's still waiting. So in reverse, things are starting to come around. Your dreams and your desires to have balance are going to be coming to pass. You will still have to just wait for it because this man is waiting and he's patient. So I exhort you <laughs> to be continuous, continued patience and your patience will be rewarded. What we're going to do next is, so I'm just going to say rejoicing. How I see that fitting in here is that you really do have the capability to create something. And it is worthy to be rejoicing that you have been working so hard. 
Now, you have been struggling with endlessly in the past with working on, on your thoughts and you have been working on your thoughts and you just need a little more rest and then soon they will all be taken care of. So all you've been really focusing on your thoughts with these cards here. Everything has been in your mind. You're trying to plan. You're trying to work and plan all at the same time. So what we're going to do is next we will take uh, we'll we'll take this um, Hanson Roberts deck and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your magician in reverse and see what added information we can find out about how to turn that magician around and how you can actually manifest what you're manifesting <laughs> all those things that you've been wanting to create and um, maybe we'll come up with a good affirmation for you with these cards okay uh, let's see what we get here first of all the high priestess that is an amazing card to get so what you're going to do is you're going to say I have all the answers within me and I can create because all the answers I need are going to be given to me and you can find them yourself that's this is very independent card this high priestess let's see what else can happen with the high priestess for the magician <clears throat> priestess who do you want to work with to help Taurus create again effectively there we go okay we'll take these two so you have then the six of swords and that is leaving the troubled waters and heading to calmer sea calmer seas okay and also the eight of rods or the eight of wands in reverse so Messages might not be coming outwardly to you with this card, but they are coming. They come through using your own intuition. That is the way it's going to come. Now you're going to need to leave people behind for a little while so you can think, see, here's more swords again. You've got a lot of swords in your reading. You've got them here, here, and here. So you're going to do your own thinking. You're going to leave all the other people's thoughts and all their comments all their, uh, anything that they've discouraged you, anything that gives you trouble with other people's thoughts, you're going to leave that behind because you are going to discover your own thinking, your own answers with this. And you know what? See, she's got a red um, bodice on her, on her dress and she's got red up here and red here. She definitely has the passion for it. Okay, she knows what she wants and you know what you want. And this sword, this eight of rods in reverse also says that this message will come to you from your higher self, not from somewhere else. Okay, so there you go. So basically, really, this high priestess is what's going to kick you into high gear. So we're going to turn this magician upright this month. You're going to be able to create and you're still going to apply the balance of your life. You're going to be balanced with your with your hopes and dreams you're going to make it happen okay <clears throat> what we're going to do briefly is take a little Normand reading and see what three cards can give you some inspiration for this month oh you're gonna have a good month Taurus okay so for your Lenormand reading with these cards, I'll show you. You have the bouquet, which the bouquet can represent a gift and it can also represent a, a visitor, someone coming into your life bearing good things for you. And the star, which is quite amazing. So they, this person will be bringing you good hope. This person will be bringing you grand ideas and awesome ways that you can 
just enjoy your life and it will be new. All these things, this will be a new way of doing things that you have not really thought of before. So this visitor will come into your life and bring you new ideas, new hope and new dreams and you will be able to achieve all that you're trying to manifest this month. <clears throat> I'm going to put these over here. Bouquet, stars and child. And I'm also going to pull you um, and the spirit animal oracle. And what we'll do is we'll ask these animals, oh, they're all ready, what animal you can think about during this month when you're driving or when you want to think about something to help you get through what you're doing. Okay, you have the buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Okay, so that goes along with this magician. If you see the magician here, he is pulling down from the universe up here. He's pulling down information to manifest and he's bringing his ideas into fruition. He's like the conduit, bringing it all down. He has everything he needs and you have everything you need because universe, the abundant universe will provide everything you need. So you can just take a good look at that card and remember, isn't that gorgeous? And if you see things that from this card, like say, for example, a feather, then you can also just remember that the universe is providing for you everything you need. Okay, so Taurus, just to review really quickly, happy birthday and rejoice. Okay, you have within you, you have all the little spunk and the little things that you do, you can enjoy every day. You are enjoying the little things in life that bring other people happiness as well. You're emotionally satisfied and that is a great place to be. Even though your mind has been balancing everything in your head, you've been just continually trying to rest your brain, uh, well, you will get there. You will get there. And life is going to turn around. You have, with your own intuition and your own insight, you're going to leave things behind that are not working for you. You're going to be able to rest and you know when to rest because you will use this man, this card of this magician. You will manifest your rest time and your healing time because you will heal from these swords. Okay. Your mind will heal. Just relax let the universe take its course and bless you because you are worthy to be blessed you are completely worthy and this with this card here all your needs will be met and this is your hopes and dreams and it will come true because if as you give to others they will it will just come back to you it just will so enjoy that month and have a happy birthday. And also just note that the new moon is in Taurus and that is on May the 11th. That will be your day to make special intentions on May the 11th. So have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. If you liked this, that would be great if you subscribe and if you'd give me a thumbs up. Also, you can watch your sun, moon and rising and see if that helps you as well. Thank you so much. Bless you. Bye-bye.